What is good, Foundation Nation? We're here with you at another disc review. Today, we're going over the Meteor Hammer from Giku Disc. This is in their Tortoise Plastic. I believe that's the only plastic the Meteor Hammer is made in, but don't quote me on that. The Tortoise Plastic, though, is the outer uh, shell here on the disc. So basically, it does have overmold. It's not your traditional overmold, though, I believe. From what I could find online, it actually doesn't add, like it's not like this is a gyro disc. This is just like grip and look feature more than anything. It's about, it's the same density as the inside rim, just a little bit different feel. Uh, one thing that's pretty unique here is where their overmold is, it's not like perfectly smooth. So, you know, seeing like we've had the Nova before, obviously MVP disc, stuff like that. It's a very smooth transition. The Meteor Hammer, it's, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the rim to the, um, to the actual flight plate of the disc is a pretty drastic difference. So I don't know what that's gonna do in the field. I don't know how it's gonna fly. Uh, this, is this is quoted at a very straight putter, 2300. Um, we never trust flight numbers fully, but it feels like it's gonna be a pretty straight flying putter. It feels like it's gonna be a little bit on the understable side, but I'm very excited to try it. It feels decent in my hand. It does have this somewhat unique rim shape underneath and i think that what is like a little bit more dramatic version of this disc is the, the uh, magnet from discraft so discraft's magnet has a pretty unique rim shape and it's pretty similar to the meteor hammer the magnet does have a micro bead whereas the meteor hammer is uh, beadless but other than that they have a somewhat similar rim shape and then they just feel quite different because of that unique flight plate that we see in the meteor hammer but i have a feeling we're going to get pretty similar flights out of these two so i'm excited to take them to the field and check it out but first let's get some measurements to see how close these two discs actually are and um get a little bit of a feel for what we're about to see out here so rim width we're looking at 9.78 millimeters on the meteor hammer and on the magnet we're looking at 8.88 so the meteor hammer is a little bit faster than the magnet um, and then the shoulder height here the magnet we're looking at 19.53 and the meteor hammer we are looking at 20.43 so the meteor hammer is a little bit faster rim wise but it's going to be a little bit taller which might slow it down a little bit so this should fly pretty similarly um, flight number wise and flight speed wise, but nothing else left to do, but get out in the field and throw it. So the first throw here, we throw relatively flat, a little bit of hyzer, it pops up, just glides dead straight, very nice flight. That magnet was not flat, uh, definitely on hyzer. Didn't really want to flip up at all. This was the interesting one. I actually was able to correct this off camera. I don't know why it flipped over so hard. This magnet though, not a good comparison. Very stable. Glad you couldn't see that flight. And then Anheuser, this is what really shows you the disc. Really just glides to the right. Very, very true flying disc. All right. So we're back in studio after throwing the Meteor Hammer. And it was a very, very solid disc. Um, there is nothing wrong with it as an approach disc, neutral flying putter. I do want to correct something I said earlier. After looking at how Yikun advertised this disc, they are claiming that more disc weight is in the rim, making it a gyro disc. Uh, previously, I was led to believe that the rim weight was not more than the middle weight, but on their website, they are claiming that it is. So I was incorrect in saying that earlier, but flew great in the field. I had a few throws that felt a little weird when I was throwing them on hyzer. They came out kind of wobbly and flipped a little bit more, but as I got it more dialed in, um, it kind of reminded me a lot of how my Nova used to fly, which was one of my all-time favorite discs. Very just true neutral fly approach disc. You put it on Anheuser, it didn't really want to get to the ground and rolled, it just wanted to hold it. Soft on Heiser, it wanted to flip up a little bit, but still hold it, and then dead straight flat, exactly what it did. So flight numbers, very accurate on this, 2300, exactly what I would what I would call it. Um, so let's get into the actual rating of the disc. I think the worst part about the disc, the thing that takes the most getting used to, is the feel. Uh, it feels fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but it is kind of unique. It does have this little ridge here, so your thumb sits a little bit higher than you'd expect by feeling the rim. The outer edge, I think, feels fine. Uh, it's definitely grippy. It definitely helps when the inner plastic is a little slick, so when it got wet in the field, it was nice to have the confidence of the meatier part of my palm and the majority of my grip being on that uh, grippy part. 
Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna go with a 7.8 on the feel of this disc. Uh, once I looked at what it was advertised as, it made a lot of sense. Um, it's the first, Yikun says it's the first overmold, and then they put shell trademark putter by Yikun. It can hold every angle in a short range approach and can lead, can land very soft with zero fade. Exactly what I was experiencing out there. If you're just throwing this on approach shots, one of the straighter putters on the market, um, like 150, 200 foot, throw it flat. It just wanted to go straight down. No sense of hyzer about it. Very, very true disc. I think this could be a great disc if you're like trying to give like soft bids, have it land, you know, five, 10 feet past the basket. So um, for true to advertise, I'm going 9.1. I think that it was very true to advertise. And then the last one, for the flight of the disc, I was very happy with the flight. Uh, it's not really a driving putter. I definitely think it's more of an approach putter. I definitely think it's something that you more are gonna be throwing like fan grip, you know, spinny approaches with. Really nice nose up, floaty approaches. Um, I definitely think it's a very underrated disc because I haven't heard many people talk about it and throwing it in the field, I don't know why. Um, I think that it's something a lot of people can get behind and it might be exactly what you're looking for. So for the flight wise, I'm going with an 8.6 flight wise, which brings our total score to eight and a half, 8.5 is the overall rating for the Meteor Hammer. Very, very, very solid disc. Really been enjoying it um, in the field there. Might, I don't think it's quite gonna make my bag, but I might mess around with it a little bit more. And if you wanna check it out, you can head over to foundationdiscs.com. Got a few different color combos and stuff. And I definitely think it's worth checking out if you haven't thrown one yet.